Dan Perry here, and this is part 28 of our series on TCPIP basics. We're now getting into the IP header, your network layer, and uh, your IP header. Uh, so we're going to look at the IP header, at least the beginning of it. Uh, we're just going to talk about version 4 of TCPIP. We're not going to get into uh, version 6. We're going to look at the important parts. Uh, there are some things that uh, you can't say is unimportant, but that are not critical, and we won't get into those. Now, IP protocol is used to get packets from one network to another. It is the portion, the routing, it is how data or information gets routed from one place to another, going from one network to another over the Internet. Uh, it's a best effort delivery system. So you send it and hope it gets there. Well, at TCP, if we're using TCP for our transport layer, that provides that reliable communications, but the IP portion is just best effort. Uh, there's no error checking on the data at the IP level. Um, the header check checksum, there is a header checksum that's part of the protocol, but it doesn't check the data. Okay. Now remember, IP is used to route packets from one network to another. Go back and remind yourself the IP address is a, numeral, a numerical address that each computer or device has. You combine the IP address with the subnet mask to determine the network you're on and you look your your system will look at that network compare it to the network you're on and decide whether or not it has to send the information to a router and send it to a different network or if it can deliver it because that data is already on the current network now if we look at the header it begins with a version we've got a header length We've got a number of different things in there. Now, some we find much more critical, more important than others, uh, including version, time to live, which we'll get into in much more detail, and the addresses. Now, the version indicates which version of IP it is. Currently, we're mainly using version 4, and that's all we're going to be looking at in this video. Uh, version 6 is slowly being adopted. It's an update, provides more capabilities. Uh, we'll possibly look, look at that at a later date. The internet header length indicates how many 32-bit words is in the header. Uh, if uh, it's most headers will have a value of 5, so the header has 5 packets in it. Uh, if we have some options, and most... IP headers do not have options, but if we do have any options, then that value would be six or more, and that would indicate that there were options included in the header. Um, there is a uh, differentiated services code point. Uh, this uh, indicates the kind of service this is. It is not generally used uh, or hasn't been in the past. We're now starting to see more and more use of it uh, in uh, quality of service where if we're delivering audio and video real time so that uh, we, we need to make sure that traffic gets a priority, we can use it with quality of service. There is a uh, field, an optional field for congestion notification. Again, not typically used, not often supported, but if you're dealing with devices that do support it, it can be used. Uh, the problem is every device in your network needs to support this for it to work. So if you're sending traffic out on the internet, a lot of the internet routers ignore or do not support it. So this this could is mainly used when it is used. It's mainly used for internal network routing. We've got the total length. How big is the size of the packet or datagram? You'll see both terms. Usually packet today, older literature talked about datagrams. This includes the header and the data. It's a size in box, bytes. The maximum size is 65,535 bytes, but for most networks, that's going to be much, much smaller. Uh, for example, when we talk about Ethernet networks, Ethernet uh, 
networks, the, the packet size is much smaller. Uh, a complete frame is only 1518 bytes, so it's much smaller. Um, maximum size that's required is uh, 576 bytes, so any protocol or all protocols at the IP level require a uh, packet size of at least 576 bytes. Um, are, 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 I sh I'm sorry, let's back up, are required to support a maximum size of at least 576 bytes. The minimum size is 20 bytes, and that would cover the header with no data. And again, as I said before, Ethernet has a maximum size of 1518 bytes. Okay, in our next video, we're going to continue looking at IP headers.